All right, first gun. This is my Arasaka. This is a Type 38, not a Type. So usually the ones you play in video games are Type 99s. This was its predecessor. It's long. Look how tall this is. So you got to remember, the average Japanese soldier was like 5'5 five, five or something like that, maybe even shorter. God damn it. There we go. Bolt's a little tricky on this one. There we go. So you have to remember, average Japanese soldier, like 5'5", five, 5'4", five, five, somewhere around there. I'm 5'8". I'm not that tall, but look how tall this thing is to me. It comes up to my nipples, dude. So this is, it's really fun to shoot. Really expensive. Each shot's like a dollar fifty to two dollars a shot. So very expensive gun to shoot. Long as fuck. It's so goddamn long, but it's light. It's so light. Very, very light. You could curl this thing for days and never get tired. So this is my war crimes gun. Whenever uh, I go to war, I'm gonna commit some hella war crimes. This is what we're doing it with, is the Arasaka. Okay, next is long. Next is the Springfield. So this is the Springfield from Verrucht. Fucking amazing. And <laughs> the thing with this is uh, the iron sights are just as bad in real life as in game. Let me see if I can show you guys this. That's the iron sight. You see that little V right there? You see that little V? That's the fucking iron sight. Th this right here, that's what you're going through. Can, can you... You can't even see it. Like, it's... The iron sights are absolute shit. I mean, if you get really optimistic, if you really want to hit something out there, you what you're not going to do. Like, they were really optimistic with what they could shoot. But this is my Springfield. I really... This is my one of my favorites. This is surprisingly heavier than, uh, the Arasaka. But those sights are just absolute dog shit. Absolute garbage of sights. Terrible. But... This is a lot easier now. This one's so much... Look how that sound. That's so much easier than the uh, Springfield. Or not the Springfield. The Springfield's so much easier than the Arasaka. This one is 12... Is it 12 million? Or is that 1 million? It's 1,230,617. Uh, if you have a Springfield, and it's from Springfield Armory, and it's below... I want to say half a million. Uh, it's... You don't want to get that. You want to get a high number one of these, not a low number. I can't remember why. It's like there's something with the design that makes it bad. So, yeah. And, fuck, while I'm here, put this up. Alright, this is my Luger. Well, I don't have the magazine in. This is my Luger. I fucking love this thing. Hang on, I'm gonna the door. This is my Luger. So when we commit war crimes, this is going to be the other gun. Uh, this is going to be the other gun. I hate cocking this thing back. You have to pull. So right here, you got to pull this back. It's... Let's see. There you go. It's so dumb. It's... <laughs> but it looks cool as shit. Uh, this is a Black Widow Luger. So it's a little special. That's This is the one I really wanted was the Black Widow version. This cost me like 1400 some something around there. A little expensive, but I definitely like it. Uh, when I first got it, it came with a shitty reproduction magazine. It was just god awful. But I bought this one. This is a, not an actual one. It's like a nowadays made one. Really, really a lot nicer. So that's my Luger. I, I love it. It stays on my desk at all times just because I like playing with it. But uh, I just really fucking like it. Let me grab the next one. Next up is the MP40. So that's the MP40. This is made by GSG, and it was, right, GSG? Yeah, it's a GSG MP40, and uh, this is, of course, a nine millimeter. This is, this is actually pretty cheap, and it's really nice gun for like 600 bucks. It's, it's 600 bucks, and it's one of my favorite guns I own. The only bad part about it is, the sights are really bad and will fall off like really easily i've had to replace them a couple times but other than that it's cheap as fuck to shoot really fun um you can get a stock for it but you need a short sbr license for it 
which it's not impossible to get, but you can get it. So that's the MP40. Really, really, like whenever I shoot it, I've shot it like this before. Hang on. You can shoot it like that. It's pretty easy. Like next to no recoil on this thing. The only thing I've wanted to do, but I've never been able to, is I want to hip fire it like this, but I've never been able to. So that's one thing I really want to do. But other than that, I mean, the coolest part about it, you got a little button right there, mag release. You got to do that sometimes, because sometimes it doesn't go all the way in. But other than that, I fucking love this thing, dude. This is my by far one of my favorite guns to just take out and have fun. It's pretty easy to clean. There's only like a couple things you have to do to take it apart. Uh, I really like it. It's one of my favorite guns. Uh, cheap has whole mystery box full of weapons oh we're not even close to halfway done so if you want something cheap and fun this is like five six hundred bucks and i would definitely say it's worth it Thank you, DRZ. Thank you for that donation. So this is the next one. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you guys all know what this is. There we go. This, this is my PPSH. Get the lighting in there. There we go. There we go. Look how beautiful that is. This is my PPSH. This is probably the most expensive gun I own. Not because... It's an expensive gun to own, but because of all the work I've had uh, done into it, I've had to have the bolt redone, um, the recoil spring fixed. What else? There was one other thing I had to have do done to it, but I can't remember what it was. I've had a lot of money to fix this thing to make it fucking work, all right? I think the bolt has had to been like redone twice. But this is the PPSH, really fun to use. Who's <laughs> got donuts? I would love some donuts. This ammo is hard to find. That's the only reason I don't shoot it as much as I would like. Uh, I only know of one gun store that sells it in Florida, and they don't even have it sometimes, so that's the hard part is finding fucking ammo. It's 762 Takarev, Takarov or Takarev. One of those two. Ammo is really hard to find for it, but when I can, it's really fun to shoot. Uh, the reason it has this is to make it legal, because it has to be at least 16 inches, because it's not actually from the 1940s. It's just a parts kit put together. So it has to be 16 inches, and that's why this is on here, is to make it actually legal. I could get it, uh, I could get an SBR license and trim this off, which I would like to do at some point in the future, but I just haven't had the time, nor money, nor patience to do it. But that's the PPSH. It's really fun to shoot. Uh, wasn't it the firing pin? I think it was the firing pin and the bolt both broke at some point. So I have the drum, oopsies, sorry about that. I have the drum mag for it, and I also have a stick mag. You can do either one, and they're both. It, I prefer the drum mag just because it looks cool, but the stick mag is probably, in reality, a lot better to use. But either one is fine. This was actually I had to buy this separate. This was actually pretty cheap. I, I didn't think it'd be that cheap, but actually is. I think total. How much money do we have in this? I think in total I have about three grand in this gun alone, just because of all the repairs I've had had done to it. And I don't ever see myself getting rid of it. And I've put too much time and money and just pain into this. So if you want to see me shoot it, check out my uh, video on my channel. There's a video of me shooting it. This is semi-auto. It used to be full auto, but it had a problem where it would stick on full auto and not stop. So it had to have a lot of work redone to it, and that's why it has to be over 16 inches. Gun laws are pretty tricky. I let my gun guy take care of most of those. <laughs> but yeah, it used to be full auto at one point. No, so you don't have a full auto license. What it is is you need a gun, you need an FFL, which is basically like a gun store license, which allows you to sell certain guns. That's how you can own uh, full autos, unless you have that, or like unless you have that, or if the gun is like a World War II gun, an actual World War II gun. Those are the only two ways you're going to be allowed to own a full auto. So unless you have those, which are pretty difficult to get, like if you need to have a lot of money, and you need to have a license for it, but those are both extremely difficult to get. So thank you, Jaron. Thank you for that. And good, that's a good question. A lot of people don't know that. You can't just go buy a full auto. It's literally impossible unless you're rich as shit and can just afford like a thirty, forty thousand dollar gun, which surprisingly I can. Okay. Um, let me go grab the next one.
this is the next one. This is my... This is my Thompson. This is the gun I absolutely hate. So that's with my Thompson. Again, the reason it's so long is because it has to be over 16 inches. And I fucking hate this thing. It's so goddamn heavy. It's by far unloaded the heaviest gun. And even loaded, it's still the heaviest gun. Especially since it shoots a 45 ACP. Which is a big fat slug. I probably have some ammo around here I could show you here in a second. But it's just so fucking heavy. I hate shooting it. After a couple shots, I'm done. Like, I'm, I'm completely done shooting it once I've shot it a couple times. It's hard to cock back. The reason it's hard to cock back is because this little ledge right here, I slide my finger over it and I've cut myself numerous times. So I hate cocking it back, especially, I just, I don't like it. It just, it hurts because I always cut myself right here. Let me see if I can show you guys. Right, right there on this ledge. I always cut myself every single time. I need to get this extended or something. I just hate shooting it. The only reason I still have it is because it looks cool and it's a cool like talking piece. I like showing people. But other than that, I fucking hate shooting this thing. It looks sexy though. I'll give it that. It looks nice. Like it looks fucking smexy. But this version, you can buy a version that does support the drum magazine. Mine doesn't, unfortunately. I wish I would have bought the version that did, but this one cannot. Some Thompsons you can buy can have a drum magazine. This cannot. I would have to do some work right here. There's a little spot right here that I'd have to do some work on if I wanted to fit a drum mag, but I don't, I mean, it's already heavy enough. I'm not trying to make this fucking thing any heavier. This was about 1200 and it's not worth it. If you want to get a Thompson, don't do it. It's not worth it. I hate it. It's cool to look at, but if you actually want a gun to go out and shoot, I would just don't get it. It's a pain in the ass and I fucking hate it. Do not get this, all right? It's cool to look at. I mean, if... If I ever have friends come out, I'll take it out there and shoot it with them, but it's just, it's not worth it for, like, every day. Yeah, soldiers hated carrying it. it was, it's fucking heavy. It's it's so fucking heavy. That's the bad part about it is, especially when you have it loaded, it's so heavy. I, just, I don't like it. I hate it. Give me one second, my other gun's in the other room. Alright, this is my 1911. This one I always have loaded, so I gotta make sure it's not loaded. This one I always have loaded, because this is my concealed carry pistol. So this is my 1911. This is a 9mm. Usually, when you think of 1911, you think of 45, but this is mine. Uh, it's only a 9mm because, like I said, it's my conceal and carry weapon. And uh, let me let me grab some ammo to demonstrate. Oh god! Oh god! Hang on! Like I got a fucking bunch of ammo. Look how cool this thing is. It's fucking badass. Um. That nine millimeter? Yeah, okay. Grab that, grab that, and that. Okay, so this is a 45, this is a slug, this is a 45. Compare that to a nine millimeter. There's, they're so different. There's, the 45 is just so much bigger, and you don't need that for like a conceal and carry weapon. You just don't. And then here's what the PPSH shoots compared to the nine millimeter. Shit. So. That's the PPSH, that's 9mm. Very similar when it comes to the actual bullet, but this is just, it's such a fat round. You don't need it for self-defense. So, I went with the 9mm. I like it a lot. <sighs> Sam's hair's on it. I need to clean it. I haven't cleaned it in a while, but it needs to be cleaned. What? Turn off your guns again. Yeah. Which one's your favorite? Got them all laid out, and there's, and there's those two over there. Who's your boy? Yeah, I've been talking all day. You've been asleep since 6 o'clock. But I've been talking for like the past two hours straight, woman. Man. Which one's your favorite? Uh, I don't know. You've shot them all, I'm pretty sure. I know, but it's been a while. Did you like the pistols more, or did you like that one, or did you like the long one? 
very much easier. Did you like, did you shoot this one? Mm -hmm. Which one did you like more? The normal one. This one? Yeah. See, everyone likes the 1911. It's just such a great pistol. It's, it's fucking amazing. And the magazine looks cool as fuck. Look at that. Such a cool magazine. So that's my 1911. Definitely uh, my favorite pistol. I always carry this thing with me. I want to get custom grips for it because you can. They're very easy to take off. But I need to find a, a place that'll do it. And I think I have one more gun. Or did you like this one the best? This was the one that had no recoil. Oh yeah, that, that was the one my mom liked. Wasn't it? Yeah. So this is just a 22. Like this is the easiest, the easiest fucking thing you will ever shoot in your entire life. No recoil. A lot of people thought this was the Car 98, which it is not. It's just a 22. It's like 50 years old. It's just a simple 22 rifle, bolt action, no recoil whatsoever. Has like a magazine of like five. Thanks to your friend who just stopped by my island who uh, gave me a whole bunch of bells. One of my mods, Dim yeah. Nuts. That's his name. I don't know why. You I can watch. I don't know what his name is on there. But he said he gave you a bunch of stuff. A bunch of money. Yeah, so he's going to help pay off your debts or whatever. This 45 is too heavy. Oh, wow. <laughs> Well, thank you, Dim Nuts. Now Heather can get a second room. You made her not poor. Thank you, Mr. CC. If this 45 is too heavy, well, like, I don't want to conceal and carry a 45 because I'm not trying to shoot the guy, the wall behind him, and the pet behind the wall. Like, I don't want to, I don't want to destroy, like, 20 things at once. But that's the 22. It's just old as fuck. My grandpa gave it to me. Uh, this one's magazine fed. I have another one just like this, except for it's not magazine. Uh, so you have to put one round, shoot it, eject it, put another round in, and then shoot it. <laughs> have her add Lauren. I'll have her do that after the after the stream. So that's this. This is just fun to like. If you if I take a new shooter out, I usually like to take this with me. Like we took Heather's mom, and she loved it because there's again there's no recoil on this thing. It's 22. Do I have any 22 ammo? On me? Uh, can you put one of these in the uh, freezer for me? Right. I'll fill this up. I don't have any 22s on me, but it's the easiest fucking thing in the world to shoot. Any any retard, you could give this to a child, and they would be able to, like, it's, there's nothing, there's just nothing to it. Like I said, I have another one, but, uh, it doesn't have the magazine, and it's never been cleaned, so I don't shoot it at all. But those are all my guns. I do not have an M1. I want to get one at some point in time, but I do not have an M1.